everybody. Hello. Uh, I was 10 minutes early and now I'm two minutes late, so I apologize. Uh, I went off to do some laundry while I was waiting and I guess I lost track of time, but I, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. We've got quite a few people watching uh, on a replay, so you'll be getting a recording um, by tomorrow morning. Cross your fingers, everything works well. Uh, we are recording. Um, what we will do tonight is we'll start with a uh, general collective card reading um, for the community that's with us tonight. And uh, we'll then do one card polls for everybody um, live. And then we'll do one card poll for people who are watching on a replay. Uh, and then I'll do a tarot card um, spread for the solar eclipse um, specifically. Uh, this actually happens to be a really important, we're entering eclipse season. So today's eclipse um, is a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse in the um, sun sign of Scorpio. So it's all about manipulation and darkness and how you use your power and sexuality and sensuality um, and covertness. And um, well, it's a form of power for sure, the scorpion. Um, and then um, on November 8th, I believe we have a lunar eclipse in Taurus, which is all about home and family and relationships. So these two eclipses are really kind of cushioning us um, in a period of time of great, um, you know, a personal transformation and global transformation. Um, unfortunately, you're seeing the global transformation um, really um, um, more in the um, uh, other governments, other countries. Unfortunately, Canada um, is the last uh yeah it's the last place uh to see the light and um um so again i encourage everyone please watch news um outside of canada um especially because you're you're missing a lot of information um that's quite fascinating quite interesting um i've been talking quite a bit about that during my um intuition um program which was just launched last week we do have spots still open, guys. It's every two weeks, so you do have time to catch up if you wanted to join in on it. It's um, one of my best programs, and we're really kind of exploring our, our, our blocks, clearing them, going to the Akashic Records, awakening destiny, getting rid of past lives. Um, some of you are already in it. Thank you, Deborah and um, Mandy and Jen Kay uh, and Divya. Um, so it's going to be good, um, but we're talking about things to pay attention to moving forward. Um, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this particular um, meditation night because it's not really the scope. I will always continue to say publicly, um, pay attention to your finances. Um, the next phase is going to be a financial change. Uh, the U.S. is in a recession, um, even though they're not admitting it. Canada is in a recession, whether you're, you know, the official stats are, are um, sorry, the official narrative is telling you that, but the stats are showing you we're in a recession. Um, so act accordingly, you know, not a good time to buy anything big or start anything new um, from a financial space. Um, it is about saving. It is about moving assets home. Uh, uh, last last Thursday, lot the stock market hit a lot of people in a big, bad way. Um, it will continue to do that uh, if you keep your funds in the mutual funds stock market. Um, a lot of my clients are moving assets, which is great. Um, that's what I'm doing. Um, so pay attention, you know, do your own research. Um, again, like I said, unfortunately, Canadian media is not giving you information. Um, a lot of information is coming from other countries uh, that have done their due diligence and, and, and um, the data is showing them. Um, different <laughs> and, uh, or move to Alberta. Uh, Alberta is a good place to be right now. Um, so regarding this sort of awakening that's happening, this Scorpio energy, it's like really gonna be showing people the darkness and it's gonna be uh, on uh, not only on a personal level, uh, sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera, uh, but as I said, on a geopolitical level. So know that in the next couple of weeks and really it's um, no, no, the November 8th, um, what are they called in the States? The elections, I'll just say the elections. I forget, I don't think it's the primaries or whatever they're called. Um, there's gonna be sort of um, activity around the US presidency, which will then um, lead uh, things to happen here in Canada. 
So definitely pay attention to what's happening in the States. Um, uh, even if that's not your jam, it will affect you at some level, uh, especially financial. Uh, make sure you have enough groceries at home. Um, make sure you always have gas in the car, you know, make sure you're ready, you know, make sure you're ready because people are suggesting a lot of um, interesting in between time that will happen and people need to be uh, prepared. So this whole Scorpio energy is about really looking at, you know, what was the bullshit from the past and your personal relationships and your family relationships, but you also your the narrative you're giving by your government and, and um, by your employer um, and also how you're going to change that moving forward. You know, are you going to start critically thinking? Are you going to start thinking for yourself? Are you start loving yourself enough, you know, to say, hey, you know, I that's, you know, that's your opinion, not 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 my opinion of myself, and I'm remaining, you know, a sovereign in my own um, sense of spirit uh, and sense of connection to source. So understand this whole shift is about um, the battle for Earth, and and we are in a battle. I've talked about that in every program I've run the last two years. Um, it feeds off fear. So if you're fearful, you know, the, the negative entity that is on this planet is feeding off of you. Um, so love or fear. And um, again, that's is what my intuition program is all about is, is how to decide what you're doing out of based on love versus fear based um, thinking. Um, and yeah, so, you know, we want in, in the solar eclipse, it's trying to push in the new. So we're, we're the old is dying. The new is being birthed. And we're sort of, there's a push-pull energy. Uh, we are in a global war. Um, we are in a cosmic war. Uh, absolutely, no question in my mind and many other spiritual teachers and leaders and people smarter than me. Um, and it's a battle. And um, while we remain positive, while we, you know, create the alternative, we love, put love out in the world all the time. Um, it's also to be aware of what is happening and not to be ignorant of that back in your head in the sand. Uh, people who have head in the sand are going to get knocked over fast in the next couple of weeks. So again, I'm just uh, um, and, um, inviting people to wake up and read and read outside um, the mainstream and you'll start seeing it quite easily once you start reading. Uh, so the solar eclipse, again, is about new beginnings. So there's three schools of thought about moon cycles uh, and I'll just present them to you. Uh, you decide what you want to do with it. There, the truth is, the moon isn't actually real. So here's where this gets into like, this will be the future thought about the moon. The moon's a base. And uh, in the cosmic geopolitical, what's, what's called exopolitics, they don't follow the moon cycles because the moon is a false narrative. It was a base camp for um, a cosmic civilization, let's put it that way. Uh, kind of like the Death Star was to, uh, you know, the empire. So people who follow the moon cycles, we've been taught that because the moon is there and it's kind of uh, a native understanding of this solitary being. But if you start going outside the box and outside the box and outside the box, the whole moon cycles are irrelevant and uh, I mean, the, no, don't get me wrong, they do affect the tides, but in terms of how they dictate us, it's a false narrative. So there's a whole new emerging school of thought that says, which always has said, by the way, the moon is really not something to follow. I've always known this, but it's difficult when you're on a planet that reveres the moon. It's beautiful. I love it. I follow it. I do new moon and full moon ceremonies. But I'm starting to get to the place where it's like, okay, that is part of the old paradigm. That is part of the old energy that's going to be, you know, uh, shifted in 2023 and beyond. Uh, so just a little heads up for your moon people. Yeah, you're going to get more information about what the moon really is. So let's put that really wackadoodle thought, you know, over here for a minute. Uh, not many people know it. Um, people who are on the stars know it, like the star people know it but sort of the tribal people don't. If you put the moon back on a, um, uh, a platform of understanding, uh, two schools of thought around new moons. Some, most, sorry, most new agers believe the new moon brings in new beginnings, which is great. 
that would be 70 percent of new agers 30 percent of new agers which are more in the pagan communities the wicca communities uh the earth schools communities uh in some yogic traditions say that actually the moon is dark on a new moon so the new moon is actually a time of letting go it's actually not a time of bringing in so these two schools of thought that represent the spiritual new age community are at odds on how to handle a moon cycle a full moon and a new moon um one camp says new moon is dark and it's for letting go the other camp says no it's for bringing in things so i've studied all three I actually believe all three to some extent. Mostly, I'll be honest, now I'm mostly not really paying attention to the moon so much anymore. But that's as, as I step out of the matrix and get further into the new paradigm, like I'm realizing a lot of things that I was told were wrong and not really true. Having said that, what we're going to do today, because I'm in conflict kind of with the moon in the sense that mm, I know what it really is now, so I can't really look at it. Or, but I'm going to use the solar eclipse and we're going to use it in the sort of the traditional new moon energy of bringing things in. However, I just wanted to present you those three moon th uh, theories. Uh, moon is not a real thing. Don't worry about it. It's a real thing, but it's not the thing you think it is. And then new moon versus full moon division within um, the metaphysical community um again unless you're down the rabbit hole unless you're sort of in the teaching world or sort of diving deep you won't see it because instagram just regurgitates the narrative the same thing over and over again right so you're not really necessarily seeing the truth it's just a bunch of people spouting out the same thing over and over again on social media so unless you kind of really do research and read more you may not know any of those things or, or an issue uh, I just present that now because of, as, as I learn and evolve, I need to present that to people. I leave it with you for you to decide what's right for you. But for the purposes of our meditation today, we're using the solar eclipse, which will light up. Again, you see how the solar eclipse is dark. Um, it's it's We're going to be pushing forward new uh, ideations, uh, new uh, thoughts uh, around use of power. Uh, around how you're being manipulated. Again, Scorpio energy is all about manipulation and relationships and power. Um, that could be guilt at home. That could be sexual power. That could be financial power, like a prostitution archetype, um, a relationship that's transactional. Like I pay the bills, you do that. We come together um, out of a sort of a, a, an agreement. Um, that also obviously could be the larger narrative of the government and um, their collusion with uh, big pharma and corporations. Um, so you can see it that way as well. So just know things are starting to tip. Uh, again, if you're reading outside the box, you're seeing it. It's very clear. The evidence has actually been presented in uh, European courts and um, courts of law uh and you're going to start seeing more and more um information and again it's going to relate to finances at some point real soon um so just you know eyes open uh for today we're going to do a guided um a ceremony um really using your connection to source so one of the things i keep telling people over and over again never do anything or or take anything that disconnects you from source um, that's part of the narrative. This this whole er erasure of women's rights and natural born women, uh, huge cabal. That is a huge intentional plan uh, because divine mother birthed the universe and the vagina and the womb were sacred in all the traditions. And the fact that we're doing that now with this guise of feminism is total bullshit. Um, and what's up? The emasculation of men. Uh, taking the protector out of the, the home or the community. That's also uh, intentional. So a lot of your relationships are going to be tested. Um, your, your, your ideations, your belief systems are going to be sort of called out in the next couple of weeks. 
so the way we were told it's like people's mind will be blown and i mean i thought i knew a lot of crazy things but when i started to realize some of the stuff that i'm learning i'm like whoa okay yeah my mind is being blown so just pay attention to how you're feeling in your body uh really pray really meditate um do not let any outside influence into your life and it's hard when you're married it's hard when you have families it's hard when you have elders it's hard when you have neighbors, uh, when you have social tribes, um, well, you know, employers, coworkers, um, they're all acting as the mob sometimes. And, and like, you know, it really autonomy and sovereignty and independent thinking and independent think feeling is really, really critical right now uh, because the mob is going the wrong way. Absolutely. No question in my mind going the wrong way. Uh, and in a very detrimental way. So um, pay attention to your intuition. That's actually why I was doing that intuition program recently is to get people awake and aware. Uh, pay attention to the signs that you're getting, um, messages. Um, oh, you're the third person to mention that to me. Well, you know, then task it, like, you know, follow up with that. Um, destiny is coming online. A lot of people who are single are coming into harmony with a divine union, which is amazing for people who are single. Uh, because again, the separation of the love is part of the plan. And so keeping people emasculated, dopamine, you know, drug addicted, addicted to porn and, and or easy sex or Tinder uh, or transient relationships or shopping or wine or, you know, whatever the, um, the haze is um, in your life one of the things Scorpio is going to bring out is your addictions. So, so pay attention to how you're manipulating, um, oh, sorry, how you're being manipulated uh, by your own shadow, by your own addictions, by your own fears and your own, it could be Netflix binging. It could be something simple. It doesn't have to be like, uh, you know, the red horn skull guy or girl, um, like the obvious, you know, it's, it's subtle things, you know, uh, it's like too much sugar in your diet or too much, you know, alcohol in your diet or, uh, too much, uh, lying on the couch and not enough exercise. Um, so this is all kind of being presented to humanity because we're going to get a shake up and a wake up real fast, real soon. So let's see what the collective cards say for all of you. This is a general card reading. Uh, many, many cards, uh, have multiple meanings. So take whatever resonates with you. Uh, and, uh, it usually tells a story, uh, as we go through the cards. So this will be for the collective for the solar eclipse and new moon. So it's up to you card first card out angel answers deck. Um, it's up to you means again, you, you have the power. Uh, you've always had the power, my dear, this reminds me of Dorothy and the Ruby slippers with Glenda, the good witch meaning that you are a God woman, God man, you are a God being, uh, you're a sovereign being, and you have the ability uh, to create. Uh, it's like the magician card in the tarot. You have the ability to create and manifest um, whatever it is you desire. Um, you know, I've been really teaching access bars, pivot questions. What else is possible? How can it get any better than this? And wouldn't it be great if? I've been doing a lot of um, posting on social media. If you follow me on Soulful Solutions, um, I've been sort of sharing this. So many people are in analysis paralysis. They're still stuck in their head. Whatever happened in August, the energy of this solar eclipse is trying to say, did you do that yet? Did you task that thought or idea yet? And the people that haven't were in, what if something bad happens? What if I fail? What if I can't do it? What if, what if, what if in a negative way? And so the, 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 the uplifting, uh, upward motion, um, uh, upstreaming, as uh, Esther Hicks would say, is wouldn't it be great if, which is the positive um, statement of what if. Wouldn't it be great if I succeeded? Wouldn't it be great if I got an invitation to that lecture? Wouldn't it be great if I had the money to go to Hawaii? Wouldn't it be great if I had a job that I loved? So wouldn't it be great if, and what else is possible are two staples that I want you guys to have in your um, language, in your um, toolkit that are the first ones you grab. What else is possible usually comes out when shit hits the fan. 
something bad happens, you get bad news, you get a disappointment. What else is possible? What else is possible? I'm just going to close my door. Just one second. Sorry. Have a, have a sip of water wherever you are. Cheers. So I had to, um, um, last um, Thanksgiving, sorry, I was thinking about the holiday. Uh, I rent my home. Uh, the last Thanksgiving, I was told by my landlord, I had two weeks to sell my house um, to keep me as tenant, me and my son. And I've lived here for 11 years. Uh, or he's taking it to market and getting a, a, a realtor. Uh, good news was I got a really good price from him. Like he he um, quoted me a price that was under market. Uh, but it totally shocked me. I, I cried like for 12 hours straight. I was just like beside myself, um, you know, four bedroom home, 11 years of shit in my house. And, um, you know, do I have $6,000 first last month's rent, moving costs, all that kind of stuff like a lot of stress. So I was all with my hands and knees, you know, what else is possible? What else is possible? And um, in the rage and the snot tears, I had a vision of my neighbors. And honestly, I have done this before where I have a client, uh, two clients, one with money, one without, one buys someone else's house, keeps them as tenant, keeps them in their home without having to move, without having to uh, change schools or anything, but now they're paying rent to the owner who is building equity in a future um, real estate asset, and they get their debts paid off um, and they live happily ever after. So I've done this many times. So I knew it was possible. What else is possible? So all my neighbors showed up because the price was so good, and we live in a high um, valued neighborhood, uh, and the house was basically sold in 24 hours. Uh, to a neighbor and um yeah obviously i didn't move i didn't have to do anything um that was largely because i was on my hands and knees feeling what else is possible what else is possible so i i gotta tell you this statement works and it is something that i need to give out as as often as i can which is almost all the time um, because shit is going to hit the fan. There's no question in my mind. There is no question in my mind. Shit is going to hit the fan very, very soon. And when people are stuck and there's nobody around, you have to kind of know that you're God, you're good. You have your own connection to source, um, that you have the power within you, like this card says, um, and that you can manifest that, uh, that savior to swoop in or the person driving by or the help or the assistance that you need. Um, it takes faith and it takes practice. So please start doing it now. Next card for the collective is trust. Well, there you go. So this also could be a travel card for some of you. Um, maybe this is again, very Egyptian energy. Um, or actually it could be anywhere really. Sorry. I say Egyptian. Uh, it more looks like, um, a Chinese boat. I'll be honest. Uh, but having said that, um, it's a trust and faith card. Uh, trust that no matter where you are or aren't, um, all will be well. And that's the whole um, point of what else is possible. Angel of Strength card comes up. This is a major arcana card in the tarot. Um, and it is all about, there is the Christ consciousness as land. Um, you see my lion there. It's very intentional. Um, the lion represents uh, Sirius B and Jesus Christ. And um, again, not religious Jesus, but certainly cosmic Christ. And there we are, the angels on earth, uh, moving forward with, you know, our, our voice and our power and our presence. So it's to stand tall. It's to love yourself. It's to remain open and faithful and positive, um, even when it doesn't look, you know, so positive on the outside world. Uh, so Reddit or procrastination, procrastination. Yes. So like I said, some of you are like me, perhaps watching too many netflix shows or you know uh distracting yourself it says now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off take action so if you're looking for a sign that is the sign to take action yes authentic voice so speaking your truth um removing the mass of you know the, the identities that you may have um picked up from childhood or in your family group 
uh, your family of origin stuff that's not necessarily you. Uh, again, speak your truth, uh, speak with clarity, uh, speak with love, always love, always love. You know, everyone can do whatever they want, but no one gets to tell you what to do with you. Uh, from judgment, yeah, free from judgment, free to love. Well, there you go. Yes. So where are you judging yourself harshly? Where are you judging others harshly? And again, perhaps it is a time to shift that. Um, again, I guarantee you that's um, the Alberta Premier um, Smith is really, you know, starting the charge in, in the Canadian politics, which is great to see. Um, taking a lot of heat, though, from the rest of Canada for it. So you're starting to see um, the breakdown of things around the world. People are seeing the stats, reading the data themselves. Uh, they don't need interpretation from another person to look at the stats and read and make their own assessment of what is or what isn't. Uh, child of the cosmos, yes. Yeah, so here we are, star seeds. We are, you know, we are we are having this battle for Earth. You are this sort of glorious being that is here with a power and a presence and destiny. And you know, we're here. It says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So, like I said, never let anyone let not let anything take that away. Any no man, no thing. It's called no man, no thing. Uh, can destabilize you or set you off course. So um, again, we talked about that in my star seeds program recently. Uh, a lot more UFO activity in the stars or in the skies, I should say, uh, because they're very much here on the earth for this particular push uh, past um, you know, the 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 corporate interests and um the money. Uh, like Mr. Fauci is retiring today in the States and he's the highest paid U.S. government a civil servant ever, which never made sense to me. Um, anyways, uh, he's retiring. So things are starting to, you know, change in the world. Uh, reconciliation. So someone from the past uh, is going to come forward and or it could be a, a friend relationship, like a, a platonic one, uh, could be um, work related as well. I mean, this is a romance deck, so certainly it's about romance um but my sense is it could be for those of you already in relationship it could be you know some kind of relationship from the past coming back there we are dancing uh again uh there's some kind of celebration um coming up for a lot of you um or it's a message to, message to go out and dance with the community so part of the uh, counter energy is laughter family community touch talking love nature so anything that takes away those things is wrong it is inherently wrong uh and that is why you're seeing a spike in uh, mental health and and um, suicides and um, car accidents and family divorces and financial bankruptcies and um yeah all kinds of negative um costs dur during this pandemic and how it was managed um, so get out there and dance, get out there and move your body, um, go to a class, go to do yoga, you know, put a tape on at home, dance around your house, play some music. Yeah. Karma clearing, because we are clearing a lot of old slavery archetypes from, um, really tens of thousands of years ago, even before Atlantis. So this particular, you know, um, healing that's happening on the earth is, is very ancient energy, um, that, um, relates to the world religions, the world monarchies, and the world, let's say, the people that have the money, the, the very, very rich families, um, and that's all connected, and it's all kind of being seen in different arenas. And so you're, you're starting to uh, pay attention to new sources outside, because um, you, can, you can start putting the pieces together. Hmm, let's see, what do these cards have to say? Ariel, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view yourself and the world. Yes. So pay attention to a perception shift. Uh, pay attention to new downloads, new, new powers. Uh, pay attention to your dreams. Again, it kind of relates to this card um, that says free yourself from judgment, free to love. Um, so again, um, either you're having this paradigm shift, uh, it says, allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. 
So whether that's you or someone that's going to come into your life or be related to you, listen for the truth. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So this could be an ocean vibe for some of you. Um, uh, again, it's more about meditation. It's more about um, listening uh, and not getting um, over your, your energy field over um, overstimulated by fear-based, um, yeah, fear-based fear, just fear. Let's put it that way. Fear versus love. That's really how you have to think about the next couple of weeks, uh, especially between now and the end of the year. So now that's the card reading for the collective. Um, so now we're going to do one card polls for everyone who's online, and then I'll pull a card for people who are watching on a replay. So Divya, how are you from New York? I think you're at the top of my, or yeah, is there anyone above you? I don't think so. Okay. Um, let's do the, we're going to do the energy Oracle deck by Sandra Taylor. So what does Divya need to know? Well, I know I, I keep pulling this for you. Caring connections. So in your case, I really do feel love is in the air. Uh, New York City is actually changing um, a lot of things are happening in the courts right now in New York City. Pay attention to that. That will be good for you um yeah so just you know um what else is possible really allow the past to be healed the the, the past to let go divya um don't stay stuck in just because you know other people did something bad to you um this is for jen k happy family so this is the four of wands card in the tarot um this is really literally about foundations, truth, um, that you're moving in the right direction, you and your family are going the right way. Um, so it's a very positive card. Uh, Jessica Getz, this is Jessica W, um, Ar uh, first chakra, Archangel Michael. So while this is a protection card, Jessica, it's about your root chakra, it's about protecting your finances, your sexuality, your body. It's also a romance card. Um, the way I read it anyway. So if you're single, uh, take this as a romance card, uh, take whatever um, sexual orientation uh, you, you know, use your flavor. Um, but certainly it is also about cutting the cords to the past. Like I said to Divya, cut, 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 let the old die, let the old, uh, you know, you can't cut love. So every time you do a cord cutting, I recommend a cord cutting, actually guys, um, we'll, we'll do that maybe uh, later in the, um, meditation it's not really what I wanted to do tonight but you can go to Steve Noble um his YouTube channel all of you who know me know what I'm talking about Steve Noble is a guy I recommend all the time um just go to his YouTube channel uh and click on cord cutting and do one of um his meditations um if anyone wants something to go if, if anything like if there's an old lesson if there is um I no longer want to experience this uh, poverty or or judgment or abandonment or you know uh, loneliness or whatever it is. Uh, then you cut the cords to the people that have done that to you. Step one, and step two, you go then heal that issue inside of you. So first, do a cord cutting, and two, then go online. Steve Noble has a, a bunch and and heal that topic that you no longer want to experience and um that will be that will do a lot uh to move you in the right direction uh mandy what's up for miss mandy well you also get the four of wands like jen so again happy family um stability uh moving in the right direction um rainbows in the skies so it's a very, um, like, it's like the sun card in the tar tarot deck, uh, but it's actually the four of wands. Um, so you might want to research that, but um, yeah, it's a very positive card, Mandy. So that's good to know. Uh, so that's for Mandy B. And this is for Mandy T. Thompson. Um, you're getting the um, chariot card. So things are in motion. Uh, things are moving, things are in motion. And um, yeah, expect movement. Um, pay attention to how you're feeling. Uh, I know you asked me about silver. Uh, I tried to call you back. Um, 
uh, I hope I got back to you. I, I'm just it's been a couple long, weird couple of days. Um, so you want silver bouillon if you're buying silver at all. Um, Shani. Shani gets the cornucopia card. So here's the abundance card. Here is the um, Thanksgiving card. This is sort of like um, things are moving in the right direction card. Um, uh, this is about growth and money and all good things. So yay. Yay for Shani. Um, I don't know why I can't see all of my uh, names. My um, Am I missing somebody? If, I, if I'm missing somebody, for some reason, I can't see the names anymore. I uh, don't know how that happened. Did I miss anybody who's live? Please uh, jump on the chat box and tell me it's you if I did miss you. And if not, it's so bizarre. I can't scroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can't tell. So um, I'm leaving that up to you. So this is going to be the card pull, guys, for the people. Um, for I know Andrea is on a replay. Um, maybe Paula's on the replay. Um, yeah. So this is third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. So this deck, it, of course, the, the, the solar plexus is. Um... Oh, Deborah, I didn't do you. Yeah. OK, so this is for the replay people. Um, this is for uh, personal power. Uh, this is for perhaps Andrea and Paula watching the replay. This is about standing your power. Uh, don't be afraid uh to stand in your truth like spread your wings be seen uh speak your truth uh so deborah i'm not sure how i missed you because you are did i not pull a card for you earlier i thought i did maybe i didn't okay deborah gets this card now uh, man holding a heart so this is a literal romance um opportunity for you deborah if you're open to it um, if you don't want like sexual romance, um, this could be about um, community. This could be about friendship, uh, new social circles. Uh, but it's literally uh, the romance card in this deck. So yes, shave those legs and smile, as we all say, smile. All righty. So yeah, I, again, guys, sorry, I, I, my functionality is somewhat. Uh, I don't know. I, I have limited functionality with the names right now. So if you can go, all go to the chat box, it's uh, move your cursor to the lower third toolbar and just tell me how you're doing this week. So I've been feeling ill. That's why I have no makeup on. My hair isn't done. I'm like uh, since last Thursday and no coincidence, my son got a head cold. I always watch the little people first. So this solar eclipse energy is really working energy. It's It's really pulling us into a, a different vibration um there's a lot of lung chest sinus issues which is all about grief um and disappointment then we have um physical pain in the bones um i'm incredibly uh in pain uh all of my right side um and it's keeping me up at night i i can't actually do basic chores or you know definitely not play with my kid and and sort of limited limited uh i know what it is but it still really hurts and um so understand that that also could be happening that physical pain in the body um is part of this awakening process and then the mind thoughts thinking could be foggy could be chaotic and um like tired like i'm just so exhausted and again it, we're in the change so part of why people are saying out loud and people who know for two years have known things are messed up like like what is good is bad and bad is good and that's what i've been saying for the last four years um it's called an inverted matrix so we're literally in an inverted matrix so for sensitive people like me we don't feel always well in the world because we're like you know everything is wrong like wow um it just doesn't make sense so grounding earthing rooting is key and critical to everybody right now grounding 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 as soon as your feet touch the floor when you're out of bed for your morning uh, wake up uh, or peeing your morning pee 
bio release, your feet are on that floor, ground, ground right there. Because again, it's just gonna get more intense. Um, it's gonna get more um, physically. We're gonna be in that snow globe real fast, real soon. Uh, yeah, so Mandy, yeah, you got your your lung, your your voice. Yeah, so um, just keep asking Mandy what else is possible. Don't get too attached to uh, labeling what you have. Like one friend says, I have pneumonia. I'm like, no, you don't have pneumonia. You have pneumonia-like symptoms in your body that is detoxing grief from past relationships. That's what you have. Um, so I don't have physical pain in my body. I do. Uh, but my body is processing, you know, my inability to take action, my inability the last two years to, to do something the way I want to do it. Um, cause I'm a very high functioning, high, uh, impact person. And I've been kind of, um, been taken out the last two years. So, um, this is like all that resentment and, uh, um, yeah. So, so again, know that the body is going to be really manifesting physical ascension symptoms. Of course, go to your doctor. Of course, go to your physio or your medical health professional. Um, I'm really recommending you all, though, go get, um, like, have your, your medicine cabinet stocked before you need it. So elderberry syrup, ginger, garlic, bone broth, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. NAC, NAC. Um, these are all good things to have um, to help fight whatever. Um, a lot of people are also um, getting Berber cap, which is a, a natural antibiotic. You can get it on Amazon from Thorn. Um, I have that myself, but um, yeah. So again, it's kind of like preparing guys, like the biggest message, whether you believe me or not, and, and you don't have to believe me, go just read outside of Canada and it's all there. It's all in black and white. Uh, the data is there. Um, it's preparation. It's like, don't let things slide, declutter, organize, um, have a pantry can your foods if you can if you can't can then buy cans and a can opener uh have all these extra things uh for the winter you know just it's it's that's the recommendations that everybody is talking about just in case um not really knowing how the change is going to affect everything because we're so easy we go to the loblaws to get food we don't grow our own food we don't harvest it uh we're lazy you know in the first world so um, if some sort of supply chain thing happened, I mean, just look what happened in the tornado that happened in Ottawa. Power went out for 12 days for some families, um, really like one block away. I was out for a couple of days and, uh, or sorry, I, I never was out, but my neighborhood was out, I think for six or seven. So extra cat food, extra, extra pet food. Um, like don't go week by week. That's for sure. That's for sure. And do a little bit when you can. Uh, whether that's batteries, flashlights, you know, stupid things, candles, tea lights, um, the long running tea lights, you know, um, just it's really, yeah, they have that, you know, as a smart measure. Um, and again, if nothing happens, then you just have extra supplies that you can shop your closet, <laughs> you know, when you need it. And if you do need it, you have it. Uh, so, yeah, so now we're going to do um, a quick. Um, reading it's like a, a tarot card reading for the solar positive eclipse okay so scorpio is bringing sort of a, a darker shadow to this eclipse um it's about power and manipulation and relationships so uh the first card we're going to pull for all of us again this is the collective this is a tarot card reading spread for the new moon solar eclipse okay guys so the first card is what negative feelings do I need to transmute? What negative feelings do I need to transmute? Um, so this is four of pentacles. So four of pentacles is about hoarding, um, about hiding, hiding something. Um, what are you hiding from yourself? What are you, uh, what are you not sharing? What are you not um, saying? So four of pentacles, what negative feelings do I need to transmute? Again, it's about um, scarcity mindset, okay? 
Uh, next card. What is my intuition telling me that I'm not listening to? Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about celebration. It's about uh, community. It's about a party. Um, for some of you, uh, especially if you're single, uh, this could mean third party, um, like other people in someone else's life. But I'm reading it more as a positive. So to me, this is more about um, celebrate. That What is my intuition trying to tell me? It's things are going to be okay. There's going to be a, a, a like what else is possible party. All right. Uh, then number three is in what ways do I need to expand to get out of my comfort zone? So the Ace of Swords is a new idea. It's a, a new thought. Swords are thoughts and ideas. So it's the start of a new thinking. So what we have to expand is these new thoughts, these new mindset shifts, these new attitudes, ideations, belief systems. Um, again, challenging the old narrative saying, well, that was two years ago and we're now two and a half years into it, like, you know, move along. Like people have to move along now. Um, and, and some people aren't um, doing that. And that's where growth gets stuck. Sorry, just gotta fix my computer here, sorry. Um, what do I need to reconnect to is your high priestess. High priestess is your intuition, your, your magic, uh, your ceremony, your, your sexuality, your creativity, uh, your psychic self. This is what you have to uh, reconnect with, which I encourage everyone to do. Uh, next card is um, how do I best prepare um, for a change? And um, you get the um, two of wands. So two of wands is a decision. Um, a decision needs to be made. So make a decision. Um, so how can I best prepare for a change? Is you can say, well, I choose love. I choose to operate out of love, not fear. That is a decision. Even though it's a general decision, it, it, it's a statement to yourself and to your God and your God self and to the higher beings all around you saying, okay, I choose love now. I'm not choosing fear. I did fear for two and a half years. That didn't really work out well for me. I'm choosing love. So it's make a decision to work out of love. Okay. Last card, what hidden talent do I need to work on? So two of cups card is the romance card. It's a letter. It's an offer of love. Um, so your, your, your superpower, if you will, is offering people love, offering people um, um, your, your talent, your, your, your voice, your compassion, your love, your empathy. So uh, what hidden talent do I need to work on is your ability to love and be loved. Uh, for those of you who are single, that is, though, a romance for sure card. All right. So that was fun. So um, take that, you know, and make it personal to you and in, in your own situation. What we're going to do now uh, before we uh, we're going to take a five minute um, bio break um, and um, grab some water. Um, when we come back, we're going to do the guided meditation. OK, so five minutes. See you at 825. Uh, drink some water, have some tea and be ready to uh, journey together.
Okay, hopefully everyone's back. So I'll just name your names for the purposes of um, the meditation. Uh, uh, you're all included, of course, when I do the work. You're going to be having your own experience. I'm going to be also doing work on my end. Uh, so welcome, Deborah, Divya, uh, Jen K, uh, Jessica, Mandy B, Mandy T, Shani. Um, yeah, I don't know who else. Again, I don't know why I can't see everyone's name. Uh, and uh, Andrea Paula on replay. And there's a couple other people, a bunch of other people on replays that I've forgotten their names. So welcome you guys as well. Um, your energy goes on a list every time I get a um, an attendee list and we start doing the work um, a couple hours in advance. Um, just as a heads up, um, when you work with me, we always kind of work ahead of time. Uh, and then when we do the ceremony, you're going to also feel it um, throughout the evening um, up to possibly 36 hours. Um, but, you know, I, I've worked with all of you um jessica have we worked together before um your name's not 100 percent familiar but um welcome um I'll, the rest of y'all you know you know the drill uh just know that detox symptoms can kick in especially during an eclipse as i said these physical things in the body these phlegmy like you know um energies moving through um and don't worry about it so like you know do take your elderberry take your ginger take your lemon water and you know your zinc and and uh work through it uh but try not to attach too much to it so um what we're going to do now is everyone just wherever you are lying down sitting down whichever is comfortable for you we're going to start the meditation so feet flat on the floor or lying up like you know in lotus or lying down whichever is comfortable palms up on the lap the whole trick is no crossed energies no clasped arms crossed arms, crossed knees, or uh, ankles. So again, first position, deep breath in. Through the nose, out the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. And out the mouth. Again, allowing yourself uh, to become a great ancient tree rooted on the planet's surface. Imagine your energy roots growing through the soil rock and bedrock beneath you. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And allowing yourself to imagine the center of the earth as a big ball of white fire, healing energy. Imagine the white fire healing core uh, is part of the Holy Spirit, Shekinah, Shekinah, Shanti, and Amazing Grace. These are the names um, for the Earth's core. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, sending your energy roots deep, deep, deep into the Earth's core. We always need to be grounded first before we can do any real healing or any psychic um, divination of any kind. Now for good measure, because we're in a topsy-turvy world and an inverted matrix, wrap your energy roots three times around the earth's core, like a ball of yarn, moving to the right. Everything moves to the right. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And now let's bring up that white fire healing energy into your physical body, up, up, up through the root system, higher, 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 through the bedrock, soil, through your feet, up each leg. And with every down breath, scoop up more white fire with every um, uh, in breath, bring up more white fire, the Holy Spirit energy into your body. White fire healing energy. For those of you um, who aren't feeling well or um, in pain, really breathe that white fire healing energy into the areas of concern. Mm. 
Breathe it all the way up to the top of the head, front, back, left, and right. Make sure that every area of your body is consumed by white fire. We're now creating a light body. Imagine that your skin, your bones, your blood dissolves and disappears into the white fire. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And send the energy now out the top of the head. Uh, let's imagine um, the solar eclipse is somewhere out in outer space. And imagine you're connecting to the sun. That's always bright, shining bright, but because there's a solar eclipse, the moon will be covering it for a partial period. And it matters not, just imagine the sun. And allow the golden fire healing energy of the sun to cascade down over you. Like hot liquid honey, hot liquid fire. Blaze, blaze, blaze. Allow the beautiful sun to cascade down over you. Into your blood, your bones, your skin, your tissues, your organ. And acting like a shield, a golden shield over your body. Really reconnect to the center of the earth in your mind's eye, reconnect uh, and connect, excuse me, to the center of the sun. Allow the earth energy to flow in you up and allow the sun sky energy to flow down through you. Repeat out loud, I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Deep breaths in and out and let the white fire light you up on the inside and the golden fire of the sun light up on the outside. Deep breaths in the nose and out the mouth. Allow yourself to expand out. Um, imagine arms width out. So if you had your arms um, out to the side, fingertip to fingertip, middle finger to middle finger. Imagine that this column of light now expand out, that your white fire, golden fire, diamond fire, all expands out with deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just imagine yourself expanding out like a balloon. Now, imagine that through the top of the head, the sun is going to beam down a perfect replica of a sun into your body. Um, imagine it the size of a grapefruit. Excuse me, I'm being told a cantaloupe, pardon me. So a bit bigger. Imagine a perfect yellow fire sun flaming and everything moving down through outer space into the Earth's atmosphere. And this is the gift from the solar angels, the solar logos, and the solar dragons, which are the trifecta of the intelligent, infinite, higher intelligent beings in the sun. Many, many very special beings exist in our sun. Lord Helios, Lady Vesta for one, the solar logos, um, the solar angels, and the solar dragons. So imagine that this is a gift, a token a healing um, amplification and activation from the solar beings. 
And right now it's four feet above your head in the area known as the eighth chakra or the soul star. Four feet above your head, it's the eighth chakra, soul star. Imagine that this beautiful sun is now descending over it and lighting it up. It's all through imagination, intention, breath work. And then we're going to repeat the mantra. I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Imagining the area four feet above your head being cleared, activated by the mini sun. The eighth chakra is where your destiny is, where your life purpose, your future lives. It's part of the Akashic Records. <clears throat> Just seeing it light up. And just say the words, activate, activate, activate. Now it moves down to the top of the head, which is the crown chakra. See that little mini sun stopping over your crown chakra, doing the same thing, lighting up your connection to God, source, creator, whatever word you give it, your I am presence, your own higher self. It's the crown. You get, you say, I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And you say, activate, activate, activate. Notice what is happening to your head. The solar sun moves down. The mini sun moves over your third eye, the middle of the forehead. Same thing, it's going to illuminate what you need to see, hear, know, or feel. The eye, all seeing eye of God. And again, you repeat I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. And you say, activate, activate, activate. Notice what's happening to your head. It moves down over the front of your throat, which is the throat chakra. Again, the mini sun is illuminating it, blasting it, activating your ability to speak. You're knowing your truth, your authentic voice. Again, repeat, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. And you say, activate, activate, activate. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Just below um, the, the throat, um, you know that little clavicle, the trachea hole, um, kind of where the, um, there's a little, I don't know what, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's where the thymus chakra is. It's called the higher heart. So the base of the neck. Um, where collarbone connects. Um, and it's a very special chakra. So the thymus chakra or the higher heart chakra. Imagine the mini sun floating, hovering over that space. Again, it's an area that's kind of undeveloped by most healers. On our, it's overlooked. Allow your mini sun to activate your thymus chakra, your higher heart. For expanded love, compassion, unity, and peace. Again, you repeat, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my God. And then you say, activate, activate, activate. Now it moves down to the center of the chest, which is your, your heart chakra. See your mini sun illuminating that space for uh, love and, and healing and forgiveness, removing betrayal and heartache. Again, you say, I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. 
activate, activate, activate. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just really feel how your shoulders are being pushed back, how your chest and breasts are being sort of expanded, <sighs> open. Let's breathe. <sighs> See the mini sun descend down to the solar plexus, which is just um, below your, uh, your lungs, upper chest. Sorry, stomach area, I should say, pardon me. Upper stomach. Again, imagining that bright sun illuminating your personal power your confidence. You say, I'm a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. And you say, activate, activate, activate. Notice what's happening to your body. Moves down even further, past your belly button around. It's the sacral chakra. Oh, I'm screwed. Did I miss one? Sorry, I think I missed one. No, sacral. And how you see the world, the world sees you. See your mini sun, flaming flames, fire. Again, you say, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And you say, activate. Activate, activate. Deep breaths in, everyone. Deep breaths out. Moves down to your root chakra, your vagina, just below the labial lips. Again, notice any energy there. Um, imagine that beautiful mini sun illuminating your connection to God on Earth, um, the planet Earth, Gaia, Pachamama, uh, to health, to happiness, to safety and security to money, to freedom. See that physical sun sort of really brightening up. And again, really with a loud, clear voice, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Taking a deep breath in and out and really feeling that mini sun activating your root chakra. And saying, activate, activate, activate. Take a deep breath in, everyone. Deep breath out. The mini sun drops down in between your knees, which is the knee chakra. No one ever works on the knees. The knee chakra is in between the knees. Imagine the physical sun illuminating the knee chakra, which is your ability to bend or be manipulated, meaning brought to your knees, which is not good. So um, uh, not subversion, what's the word? Um, sub something. So again, strengthen your ability to stand up, strengthen your ability to stand tall, sovereign, independent, authentic, free. And say, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Notice what's happening to your body and then say, activate, activate, activate. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Then we go to the feet chakra. Just sort of imagine, um, you know, below each foot, two. Imagine that the, the little sun splits into two mini suns, maybe large grapefruits. <laughs> One under each foot. Again, try to sort of put your feet flat on the floor or lie straight. And again, you say, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Notice what is happening. Feel your connection to the earth, even getting more solid, more grounded, more sure. More secure. And you say, activate, activate, activate. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Four feet below your feet is called the Earth Star. It's about the size of a basketball. 
the earth star is four feet beneath your feet. Really important chakra. It connects you to the earth. Allow the suns to merge and become one and a bigger sun and allow the, the, the mini sun to become the size of a basketball to consume and illuminate and activate your earth star, which is your safety, security, foundation, money, health, freedom, autonomy, sovereignty. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out, and really clear out that earth star. Let the fire flames of the sun do its thing. And you say, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Activate, activate, activate. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. Allow the mini sun to drop into the earth's core. Allow it to drop into the earth's core and then breathe up white fire healing energy throughout your entire body. So the mini sun dissolves into the earth's core and your up breath explodes out white fire healing energy and floods your entire being, all of your chakras, the ones we've mentioned, plus the other 4,000. Activate, activate, activate. And again, with a firm tone and inflection, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Notice what's happening in your cells, your body. Notice what you're hearing, feeling, seeing, or experience. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let the energy run from the earth up through you to the sun. And again, from the sun back all the way down to the earth through you. Last final clearing up. Went down. White fire up. Yellow fire. Golden fire down. Free from judgment. Free to love. I feel serene and tranquil when I accept who I am. I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two hands on the chest. You say out loud, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and more, thank you, and more, thank you, and more. We clap three times and go, it is done, it is done, it is done. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Cross your arms over your shoulders, pat, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. We thank the solar logos, Helios, Vesta, the solar angels and the solar dragons. We ask the solar logos to continue to illuminate our path within us. Activate destiny, activate these new beginnings, activate purpose. With love and grace, with love and grace, with love and grace. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Opening your eyes and have some water. Awesome. So I'm going to grab um, um, actually, you know what, Jessica, I'm going to allow you to talk since you're new. If you can unmute and just share, um, if you can, um, what did you experience during that um, meditation? Only if you can unmute. Oh, there you are. You're unmuted. Welcome, Jessica. 
Thanks. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, yeah, I felt uh, a lot of heat, like nothing too startling, but I did get some, like, I don't know, activating shivers, I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ground up. And, so, uh, so what I want you to also pay attention to, while we are, you know, we have the vessel, the body as the the archetype, um, let's say the guided image, know that there's four thousand chakras in the body, yeah, and then um, like over twenty seven layers of aura fields. The main ones are the physical body, which is pain, um, uh, you know, feeling, uh, then the emotional body, then the mental body, then the spiritual body, and then beyond those four. Um, or other like galactic uh, energy levels. So what you all want to imagine is when the sun is coming down, it's expanding. You see, it's not just the one little ball. It kind of goes and then starts to clear your field. So anytime any of you are in the sun, you know how you kind of like close your eyes and feel the sun on your face. Imagine immediately that those little love bombs from the sun are coming into your body. And that activates purpose, that activates a lot of things. You get it? Yeah, thanks. Awesome, thank you. Okay, uh, again, I um, my functionality, I don't know how to, yeah. Uh, 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 there we go, weird, 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 weird. Okay guys, so with that, what, what we want to leave with is that feeling of expansion of the sun codes in our body. As I said, multiple layers, so 4,000 chakras, multiple energy bodies, really flushing in and out any distortion, any discord, any fear. So remember, love versus fear. This is a great battle. Love versus fear. Love wins. Am I making a decision out of love? Or am I making a decision out of fear? That's where I want to leave it with you. Uh, you'll get the replay uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, you can do it at least one more time uh, to catch the eclipse energy. Uh, drink lots of water tonight. Um, it's a very subtle process, this particular one, but it's a very powerful one because you're getting the sun codes in your system and you're literally moving it down your body and the thymus is right here for, for i couldn't really describe it with words very well it's kind of where that tracheal hole goes if you needed you know an emergency uh whatever can breathe all right uh jen says you're taken out that's good you're taken out and up jen taken out and up so again for those of you who did fall asleep not to worry uh the work did happen and you'll get the replay anyway um and you can do it one more time um the rest of the week pay attention guys Cannot stress to you enough. Um, shit's going down and uh, hopefully you guys will be prepared as much as you can do. And if you're not, what else is possible to look for the help that you need in life? Uh, again, remember that um, the lunar eclipse is on November 8th. Uh, I'll be doing an event for that as well. And then on November 19th, so excited doing my live uh, sacred spirit event uh, back at the Fisher um, Place Community Center, uh, where we're having a psychic medium, myself and an angel intuitive doing an afternoon of readings and uh, activations. So check that out, sacred spirit. Um, I can send you a link to that in the um, replay. All right, guys, much love. Drink lots of water. When it's dark outside, keep the light on. Peace and love, guys. Peace and love.